Hello Tri Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Fisherman's Run. So I read all of your comments yesterday and the biggest thing you guys were telling me about was the corruption. Apparently the corruption has been creeping in on me and I've not noticed. So we're going to go sort it out a little bit today. Now I wanted to do this with a Clentaminator, however I remembered that we spent all of our money on the Goblin. So I sold as much as I could and I still can't afford, like I can't afford a Clentaminator. I'll probably have to do the Eye of Cthulhu a few times but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and like level this out a little bit, like get rid of some of it. It does spread very fast, right? Corruption does spread really fast. But if you can try and neuter it a little bit, you can like save yourself a little bit of hassle. So if we do this today, this will probably save us like, I don't know, like a whole episode's worth of hassle. All right. And then we come over here when we've got a bit of extra, extra moolah, extra dollar. Because if we do this, it won't spread as fast as you think. And then we can leave that for a little bit. So... This is a good little way. Somebody also told me that these little corruptors do not actually uh, spread corruption anymore, which is fantastic. It's something that I always feared, because I'll tell you why I don't know why it doesn't do it anymore. It's because the past, my past three Let's Plays have all been Crimson. Um, other than the Expert Mode one, which didn't get finished. They uh, were Sean hiatus, by the way. Um, yes, I've always had Crimson, so I never knew of the changes, because I've not had a Corruption World since 1.1 fully. I don't think I've done a full Hard Mode playthrough without... Yeah, weird. Right, so we just got a witch doctor, which hopefully means that we can have um alright, okay, one room, one room, one room. Is this one taken? Yeah, it means all of them are taken. Oh no, we got one here. Does that one count as a room? It's already occupied, right. Oh, it must count as the witch doctors. Oh, I told that witch doctor. I told him what to do. And then the witch doctor who told me sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was really bad reference. All right, okay. So let's see. Does this still mess with the flow of the place? Eh. I guess that works. All right, so I can now have... I'm going to move everything around. So I'm going to put all the ones at the top that I'm not going to use. So we'll put that one there. Probably not going to use this. We, we should have a nurse where we actually spawn. We should make that the nurse. We can whack the die trader there. Stylist will probably never use... I want to, this is where I want the um, the fisherman to be. No, I want the guide to be here. I want the guide to be here because obviously we're going to be uh, needing his skills, aren't we? So we'll put the cloth here, here. Um, and we'll put the steampunk here. Yeah, that works. That that all makes sense. And then, and then there's one room free for for the fisherman, which is where the stylus is going to go. So the nurse is there. So if I put the stylus there. We can have the fisherman there. Okay, that is all done now. I can't remember what gets him to spawn. I feel like once he's already spawned, he should just spawn back in again. I don't think he like, swims in the ocean, does he, again? That'd be pretty weird. Right, so today's episode, what are we going to do? Well, first off, we don't have a fisherman, so we can't do any quests just for the minute. Um, but what we are looking to do is we are looking to defeat the third boss. So we're looking to defeat the twins today. A lot of people have been saying to me that I should craft the, um, I should craft the frost armor. But the issue with that at the minute is I do not have enough for um, I don't have enough for the hallowed set. I need one more piece, like one more bar, and then it's like waiting for the weather to kick in to actually get that. So I may not be. What I can maybe do is craft the um, cross, craft the frost armor for um, for the fight with Plantera or Golem, because that will obviously be like a, such a help. So that's what I'll probably do. I'll get working on getting some potions today for the mechanical eye. And we'll just see what happens. I'll probably be facing the Mechanical Eye with the same setup I've been using for a few days now. So, I'm going to get to making some potions. I need some uh, I need some nature -y kind of stuff, like some seeds and that. So, I'm going to go get all that. And then we'll cut back in and hopefully we can have a nice boss fight today. Hey, we just got our angler there. Nathan the Angler. I kind of miss our old one. I can't remember his name now, but I kind of miss him. He seemed like he had more character. We'll have to see what Nathan brings to the table, shan't we? <laughs> Alright, so I decided we're going to warm Nathan up with our first quest. Let's not do the boss fight straight away because I've only literally just woken up and I'm, I am really tired. So, I don't want to like, I don't want to get us murdered right at the start. So where is Nathan then? Where is he? Oh, he's in the other house. Oh my god, yeah, because that other house is now a valid house. So we need to kick someone out of here and put Nathan there. Go on, Nathan. Get in there, buddy. Get in there. Alright, we'll just go over and speak to him for now because obviously I don't think he's going to move by the time we get there. So... All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's equip our wings. Apparently, the um, the frog leg is going to make flying a lot better, and I should replace the aglet. The reason why I have the aglet 
it's because it like one second, if we just show the fishing line. It's got plus four defense. Whenever I have these accessories that I'm not really using, I'm got I have them because they're good for like prefixes, if that makes sense. That's why I have them. Right, okay. Mr. Angler, what do you say? Alright, what's your quest? Spider fish. I saw a spider that had eight legs. Nope, not happening. Right, so caught in the underground in the cavern. So, we'll probably go to our little cavern location and uh, get that one done. What I'll do is I'll jump cut ahead. We can have a little bit of a montage because uh, a montage is our way of like getting good luck. And then, once we hand that in, we'll maybe start working on the potions. And what I'll try and do is I'll try and grab... So I need some death weed. That's what I need. I need some death weed and I think I need some moon glow. So, I'll go and try and grab some death weed and moon glow while I'm trying to get this, uh, this fish. And then, we shall have a little bit of a break. Go do the boss. Okay, sounds good. 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 Okay, so I know this is really subtle, but I'm just going to throw this out there. How cool is this, right? When you shoot a bubble out in water, it immediately goes to the top of the water. Whereas, like, instead of, like, going along. Like, that's so subtle, but that is, like, I don't know. There's something about that that just, like, really makes me smile. I really like that they thought about that. I don't know. That That is a really nice thing to see. <laughs> Python, get off Black Ops. Ah, yes, we found our wizarding friend. Hello, Mr. Wizard. Ah, so what do you sell of interest to us? Uh, what's an empty dropper? I feel like that has something to do with something. Yeah, I can't remember. Cool to have you, man. All right, time for the fishing montage. All right, let's flip over our accessories. Let's flip these over for this, that over for that. All right, let's give this a shot. Yeah, that's right. Okay, montage time. And it's done, right? Look of the montage. Let's take out this Medusa, because we don't want him killing the wizard. Okay, so I died when I was there, but I got everything done, so let's heal up, and let's go speak to someone who will take my stuff. Right, so I got a yellow when I was there, so I thought I'd sell it. Um, oh, that's cool. Speed hair dye. I did not know she sell dye. Wow. Alright, okay. Yeah, let's sell this, and then I wanted to craft a little heart crystal. Um, little hanging thing um, out of where is it? I got some iron chains around here. There we go. All right, so I want to get this. Create one of these little heart lanterns. All right, okay. Now it's time to actually make our potions. So, okay, which ones we're we gonna make? We're gonna make a life force for sure. We're gonna make an endurance and a wrath. Right, I know I said them backwards. However, we also need. Uh, a blink, a mushroom, and some day bloom. Because we need to make regen. Okay, regen's done. All right, we can um, quick stack all of this in. I know we just lost all of our potions then, so I'm going to get them all out again and wait for some time to skip. Okay, time to see what today's quest is. So I have, I have got all the potions out now. They're all good and, and safe. All right, what is today's quest? Hunger fish. All right, we can go get that. And that's not too hard. And then what we'll do is, I'll go skip ahead, go get it, come back, and then we'll do a sundial. Okay, so I've just seen down here there's a truffle worm, so I'm going to try and grab it. Ah, uh, Messed it up. <laughs> I'll have to come here next time I actually need one. You need one of them to spawn the uh, Duke Fish Run fight, so that would have been a good little find at the start. I'll tell you what, I may, uh, oh, I may just open this up a little bit just for next time in case it ever comes back here again. Trick is you have to sneak up on him. So uh, that's why I was trying to sneak up then. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to skip this, come back to the house, and get this done. Okay, the quest is complete. What are we going to get? We've got apprentice bait, some sonar potions, and one gold. There. I could do with one of the more rare items. Alright, so let's skip some time. Oh, I really like when this happens. It looks so cool. You can see how the, uh, all the clouds move and stuff with time. Getting slow now. It's getting night time. Ah, cool. No enemies nearby. Oh, look at that moon. Yeah, that was cool. I wanted to catch a truffle worm then, because it would have been nice to have. Um, people keep saying that this series needs to end when I defeat the uh, Duke Fish Run. <laughs> yeah, fat chance of that happening. Nah, I'm only kidding. Maybe, maybe. I don't want to tease out, but maybe. Right, okay. Oh, spawn point set. There we go. Alright, okay, Sky Lakes, an angel fish. Now, I do have a sky biome up there, and I feel like it's a sky lake. So we, should we go up there and go to check this out ourselves? Right. I actually caught that last fish without equipping any fishing gear, and I got it literally, like, pretty much first try then. 
Right. There we go. Yeah, we had a sky lake up here the whole time, which everyone kept telling me about when I made my original one. Right, so. Let's equip these. Uh, let's do a quick time lapse. <laughs> I love it. Every time I say it. Every time. What? Oh, I didn't have my wings. <laughs> I forgot I didn't have my wings. One idiot. <laughs> right, so let's go on this in and then we'll go up and get it. Right, apprentice bait and a fishing potion. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. The good stuff to have, I guess. They are good stuff to have. Right, okay, let's swap all this over. Tell you what, I was really happy with the rope system that I built. This made complete sense and it did work alright. Right, okay, apprentice bait. Uh, Alright, let's get rid of our sonar and fishing potions out of this area here. Because we need to work on tackling some bosses, don't we? So, can't really be using these. Right, what should we get rid of out of here? Let's get rid of these. Right, and we got our fishing potions in there. Okay, awesome. Alright, so we have to wait a little bit of time now. We've got to wait until the next day is dawned. Um, and then we are ready for a fight. Now, I'm worried about this fight because it's one that I've not done in a while. And I don't remember being particularly good at it, so we'll just have to see. But we do have a little, like, pot here that we can keep coming back to. And that distance isn't actually too bad. It's not as bad as I thought. Because, look, if you get it about there, say if it's, if it's there, you're actually going to be hitting it pretty well. It would be better if we did have ranged armor. I wonder how much titanium we have. Let me just go check. Because it'd be better if we didn't have ranged, because then we'd do a little bit more damage for this fight. Right, let's have a look. Titanium. Right, titanium all there. Let's smelt this down. Alright, that only gives us nine pieces. So if we don't have any in the chest, then we may be out of luck. Right, is there any in there? Nope. It's ready in there. Not that I can see. We'll just keep looking. It'll be around somewhere. Titanium. There we go. Awesome. So, right. So, let's craft the uh, let's craft the titanium helmet. There we go. That one. Okay. So, what does this do? Increase 16% increased range damage. Increase range critical strike. So, what I may do is... A little bit fluky. But what I may do is I may have my auto pulls on. So, I can fight. Quick. Oh, no. Can you not swap over the headgear when you're in mid-flight? Mid Oh, they know. Can you do it when you're on the ground? That's sneaky. Guys, guys, have you ever noticed this? That you can't do that? Oh, no, you can. Why wouldn't it work in the first time? Oh, because I was using a weapon. So what I can do is I can swap it over when I'm using when I'm in the fight, uh, depending on what weapon I'm going to use. So, okay, let's say I have to go back to the Toxic Carp, or the Magic Carp, as keep calling it. Swap over. Uh, stop using it. Get the, get the, uh, get the headgear on. Swap over to the Crystal Serpent. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan to me. Right. So we have all the potions. We have everything set. Now it's just waiting for the time. I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident now that I've just figured out the helmet trick. Okay. Right. Time will tell. We shall see. Let's wait for the clock to tick. And what I will do is I will speed it up for you guys. Right. I'll give you a little bit of a sunrise montage. Okay, so I'm going to stand up here. All right, I'll stand. Ooh, where should I stand? Let's stand here. All right, and then you guys can watch the sun. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I decided to skip the uh, time lapse because it just didn't look right on camera. So, so I went and looked. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to one, turn the thought pause for now. I forgot to make one more potion. It was the magical damage potion, so I'm going to need a star. What else do I need? I can't remember. Okay. Crafting. I don't make this one very often, that's why. <clears throat> okay, so... Magical damage, magical damage. Huh. Teleport, magical... Oh, magical... Magical power potion. Po potion. Moonglow deathweed. Oh, that's why I had one extra deathweed. I couldn't remember why. Moonglow deathweed, and then mana regen is moonglow and... Day bloom. Okay, so I'm gonna need one more star. I'm gonna need two moon glow. I'm gonna need one day bloom and one death weed. Right. Okay. 
one, one. Alt favorite him. All right, it's almost night time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. And you guys shall see the fight that goes on. I'm very nervous but excited. More nervous than excited. I'm really nervous. Let me just swap over everything. All right, okay. I'm going to start with the... I'll start with the mana and go over to the ranged. So which one... So I'm definitely sure. This one is the ranged. Okay. So I'm going to be talking you through this fight. That's one I'm going to do. I'm not going to speed this one up, I don't think. Hopefully I can, like, commentate on it well. All right, okay. So I'm going to uh, speed up now and we'll get to the night time. Buff up. All right, okay. It's exceptionally dark. All right, okay. I'm going to start with this one first. All right. This is going to be harder than I thought. Okay. Right. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. It's too, um... Come here. It's way too bright. I'm going to have to shut my blinds, right? But you never see me do this mid-fight. This is how you know I'm comfortable to record now. <laughs> I'll just shut my blinds mid-recording. Okay, that was stupid. Alright, okay, let's reset our flight. Okay, let's keep an eye on things. I'm, I'm just making sure that I'm actually doing stuff right. Okay, we've got that 30 seconds of healing. We've got a defense buff then from the, uh, from the Dryad. I can't remember which eye you take out first. I really can't remember. I'll tell you what, he couldn't hit me then, could he? I'll tell you what, because I'm using this uh, regen potion, it's actually doing me better um, better stuff. Right, okay. Ugh, come on, buddy. I do have everything equipped, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm doing a very bad job of hitting him today, where I was doing a really fantastic job yesterday. Okay. I'm not taking damage, which is good. I usually use a gravitation potion for this, so this is a little bit different for me. Okay, the spaz one is 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 the spazinator is doing a. I was gonna say he's coming down pretty fast, but I can't remember which one you take out first. All right, okay, well it's gonna have to be the spaz now. All right, this is where things get hard because he does uh, really bad contact damage. When he shoots his uh, lasers in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to need to read Store some Man. Oh god, it's weird, because obviously the Blood Moon effects have made his uh, made his thing yellow instead of green. That's weird. <laughs> Alright, okay. Alright, this one is going to be taken out pretty quickly. Alright, just need to restore some mana. Come on. You can avoid that. Okay, right. I definitely feel after this series, I'm ready for expert mode. Like, I really am ready now. Because, like, when I started the expert mode series, I wasn't ready. I don't think, at least. Alright, let's restore some of that mana. Okay, he's onto his second form as well. Alright, so let's take this guy out. Okay. Gotta get them angle shots going on. My aim is not as good today as it was yesterday. Fully restored on the mana. I tell you what, that mana regen potion would have properly uh, made those fights yesterday a lot easier. <laughs> I've just noticed. But hey, using mana weapons without any mana potions, how good is that? Right, okay. Right, you're almost dead. I can't remember what's next. Is it Golem or Plantera? I think it's Plantera, isn't it? Right, okay. Right, let's take this guy out. You were almost ready to die, buddy. I know you are. There we go. He's getting frantic now. He knows. All right. Okay, that was done. That was, uh, that was a pretty good fight. I enjoyed that. Got really, really invested in that as well. All right. Jungle goes quick, uh, quickly. Quickly. Right. So we can start making hallowed armor. Um, all right. Okay. Let's take this guy out. All right. We can start making hallowed armor. And then converting that to... Obviously, these doors are going to open now. Great. I don't want anybody to die. That's the thing. All right, crafting. Talk to me about hallowed bars. Okay, so... Actually, talk to me about frost cores, because I can't remember... Where's my frost core? It's in nature, isn't it? All right. All right, first off, we're going to have to just help out these people. So let's swap over this mask. All right, swap over this mask and get this done. 
heal up. Alright, let's take out this angry Nimbus, even though we have a Nimbus rod, which we're going to sell because I don't think it counts because it's not a weapon from fishing. I'm not too sure because it it's not fishing related in the sense of like, we didn't get it from like a, a crate or we didn't get it from actual fishing, so I am going to sell it. You guys need to stop letting people in though. Come on. Alright, we've got way too many deaths out here. Oh my god, you guys can't even handle yourself. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to let you all die. Who really needs these guys, eh? Who really needs them? Okay, so... Alright, need the guy to talk to me about frost cores. Frost cores. Okay, so... I never noticed that it was at, made out of titanium bars. Is that new? When I last did this, it was made out of, um... Hallowed. Is that always a thing, right? Let me check. Alright, so that's doing... That's weird, isn't it? I feel like... Alright, okay. Has this been buffed up, then? Right, okay. Well, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to craft the manor approach. Because I'm going to go the manor approach. One. Two. Yeah, am I going to go the manor? I'm going to go the manor, right? And then we're going to craft a Drax, because... Oh, no, I don't have enough for a Drax. Never mind. <laughs> Which one should I go with? Uh... I don't think I'm going to use any of these. Only because I don't want to... I want to stick to my fishing stuff. So if I lose, I can swap over later on. Right, okay. Let's put stuff in the chest for now. Um, if I do start losing, I'll go back to the titanium. But this for now is like... We're on 54 defense. Is that with a... Yeah, it's with an iron skin. So 54 defense. Whereas when we were losing... When we were using our last magic armor, we weren't on that. I don't know though. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Like, that's pretty good damage, isn't it? I thought it was very good damage. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Alright, so I need to sell my Nimbus rod. Um, and then I may... Yeah, I'm going to sell my Nimbus rod. And then we're going to wait a little bit of time. Going to get a quest done. And then tomorrow I'm going to work on Plantera. Because I don't want to work on it today. Because I've already done too much bossy stuff today. And uh, working on Plantera means building a big stadium. Which we will do tomorrow. Facing it, which we will do tomorrow. So I'll do Plantera tomorrow. And then... If we make two lots of potions, I'll hashtag Bosch uh, Golem. And then we'll go and build and take on Duke Fishron. So, estimated average of Let's Play episodes left, I think about four. Four or five. Yeah. So, have a fantastic day, everyone. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.